All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, jeez. I'm going to hang out in here for a second until the stream catches up. Let's see, how are we doing? <laughs> I don't think you'll see anything that crazy. <laughs> Giant cake. <laughs> Alright, are we good? I think we're good. Are we good? I think we're all caught up now. I've been, I've been playing it for too long and wanted me to restart the stream, evidently. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Everything okay? Yes, Kate Walker. I am waiting. That's it, Oscar. Kate Walker, I must remind you of one of the journey regulations. Okay. Something is missing. Oh my god, the mammoth. Please return it to its allocated position. Oh my god, I'm the mammoth doll yes. that's in my bra of uh, super holding whatever. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. The mammoth doll. Okay, it's back, Oscar. Are we good now, or do we need to do something else? Bra of holding. Everything okay? <laughs> yes, Kate Walker. I am waiting to... Oscar? Everything is ready. Take your... I'll... Okay. Why is she sad? I don't understand. <laughs> and then it crashes into the door and we all die. Don't go out there, Kate. No. Oh, because she really draws her sheet. Okay, my husband's a douchebag. Yeah. Evidently, she married him. So do I have to go over here and talk to the thing? And he should be here, and I have to get a ticket from him again, right? What are you doing there, Oscar? We gotta go. It is imperative that we comply with railroad and customs regulations, Kate Walker. Oscar, don't you think we could drop the trifling details once and for all? No. We need an exit visa to get beyond the wall, Kate Walker. <sighs> and you wouldn't know where I could get one of them from, would you? There is usually some form of authority stationed at a guard post that is strategically positioned to issue such a visa. Are you that one? I don't suppose you can help. Your non-supposition is correct. Do you realize, my good man, that as a lawyer charged with an important matter of inheritance... Kate Walker, we still need an... Uh... <laughs> Oscar, don't you think we've wasted enough time already? You neglected to find the clockwork winding mechanism for the train with sufficient haste, Kate Walker. <laughs> what nerve! And you refuse to lend a helping hand help that could have been invaluable to me. I agree, Kate Walker. If you weren't so obsessed by procedure, we wouldn't have had a hitch. I am not entirely convinced, Kate Walker. <laughs> Oscar, please, let's get in the train and leave, can we? Yes, Kate Walker. Give me the visa. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right, so now we gotta find the visa, and then we can go maybe back over here. I don't know. Maybe there's one on the ground right around the corner. Maybe I can just sneak in the back door here, steal it out of his back pocket. <laughs> or it's no locked. Point. I guess we'll go over here then, Kate. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's go up the stairs. There's probably that one building that I said that we should probably have to get to on the wall. This. Please don't tell me I have to click every single freaking stair. Oh, now who's calling me? My boss, and he's an ass too. So. Hello. Kate. Nope. Oh, is that you? What's going on? Well, I finally got the mechanical train wound, and I hope it's going to take me to Hans Varlberg. I had to sort things out with a couple of weirdo sailors, and they probably ripped me off. But now I'm blocked behind this massive wall. You should see it. It's huge. I'm not talking about that. I want to know what's going on with Dan. What do you mean? I bumped into him at Maggie's do, and he said you'd argue. That's a bit over. I just talked to him like literally ten minutes ago. The last time we called, that's all. No need to go overboard. I don't mean to be Miss Melodramatic, but he didn't seem in such great shape. He had his down in the dumps head on. <laughs> like Dan has a down in the dumps head. Well, yeah, when that shock of hair flops over his forehead and his eyes mist up and his eyebrows kind of creased together. Oh, she's in love I've with him. I never noticed. She's having. He's having. Maybe I did go a bit too far, but he's no, you didn't go a bit too far. Two image of me that sometimes I just lose it. And this case is taking up a lot of headspace. I was just looking for a bit of compassion. Yeah, and he's an well, ass, so... You sure got mine. So, what's going down? Like I said before, I'm kind of getting somewhere, but it's slow. <laughs> it's this very Hans slow. This Hans guy is getting more and Two more steps fascinating forward, 18 by the steps day. Back. Okay, well, anyway, it doesn't sound like you're bored. Not like back here in the office. Every day is boredom day. Just no fun without you. When are you coming back? Oh, please. Shouldn't be long, I Shut hope. up. Look, Get up. I've go. Can we walk and soon. talk at the same time, we'll call please? Us again real soon. And be easier on Dan next time, huh? I'll try. Jeez. Be easier on Dan. No, it's Dan's fault. He's an asshole, okay? God. I don't like him. I don't like him, and I hope she breaks up with him no by point. the end of this game. No point. It's locked. Okay, so let's head down this way, then. There's our train. Hello, train. This game sometimes has more drama than I'm prepared to deal with. Ooh, something to look at. I just walk into random places and, uh... Ooh, hello. I guess... It looks like a piece of wood. What does it look like? I don't know what it looks like. It doesn't matter. Can we talk? Ah, machines to use. Things to use. <laughs> Not be a mental prick anymore. <laughs> yes, she clearly does want Dan. It's very look, obvious. Broken glasses. If they belong to the captain. Then he sure has eye problems going by those lenses. What captain? That was weird. Oh, I can put wine in the... this, right? I haven't got time to have a drink. Oh, you certainly do I have... Got you certainly do have goddamn time for a I haven't drink. got time to... I haven't got... Oh, you need a freaking drink. Come on. Captain. I don't know who the captain is. What the freak was that all about? He's probably like, no. Oh, I didn't even see that guy back there. Good day to you, sir. Captain Melatesta, commander in chief of the Barkstadt border post at your service, madam. Uh, I guess we can't talk about the train or help. <laughs> my name is Kate Walker. I've Walker. been assigned by my company to find a man who was supposed to be living in Siberia. What a peculiar mission. Taking so many risks for such a futile goal. Hey, don't I don't, Captain, I don't judge you. To my mind, the military zeal with which you insist on guarding this meaningless wall strikes me as equally futile. Uh, I should be offended by your words, miss. But I forgive you, 
because you are young and unaware of the very real dangers lurking in store for us. <laughs> this is what happens from a person who plays uh, uh, Papers, Please for too long. I must I be on the lookout. I need a visa to cross the wall and to continue my journey to the east. They told me that you are the only person in a position to issue such a visa. Indeed. This responsibility is part of my duties. However, I am not currently issuing visas, because nobody must venture beyond the wall. And why not? It's far too dangerous, in particular for a lady of your standing who is traveling unescorted. Oh, God. Dangerous? Shut up. What exactly do you mean, I can handle myself. Captain? The enemy, miss. The enemy. I've been observing them for several years through my telescope. There's one particular horseman stationed yonder. <laughs> He's a scout from the invading enemy army, and he's been spying on us. So I have to be extremely vigilant. He knows that I know he's there, you understand? And as long as I keep my eye on him, he won't dare try anything. Are you sure? Please, take a look for yourself. Is the person who takes care of- There is no person who takes care of the gate. Believe you me, ma'am. I have been the one and only guardian of this gate since 1968. That year I took over the position from the late Lieutenant Colonel Malatesta, my own father. In that case, can you tell me how the mechanism works? It sure looks complicated to me. Not at all. It is child's play for anyone who takes the time to work out its surprisingly straightforward logic. And from the looks of your locomotive, it shouldn't pose you any problems. Why do you say that? When I caught dots. sight of your formidable locomotive, I immediately said, Heavens, only Hans Vorlberg could design such an engine. And I know what I'm talking <laughs> about, ma'am, because he invented the gate's original mechanism. It was his last creation here in Bargstadt. So you know Hans Vorlberg? No, I mean, not personally. I was only a baby when he stayed in Bargstadt. My father spoke often of him, and I knew about his inventions. He left very many things behind him. I know. In any case, I noticed that his fantastic knack for inventing has not deteriorated with age. How's he doing? I don't know. In fact, I don't actually know him. I'm searching for him, an inheritance matter. I hope his train is going to lead me to him. And why not? His inventions are always because full there's of surprises. Some jerk in the way with a giant wall. That's why the train is not leading me to him at this point. Between the station aviary and this bleak wall, the change in atmosphere is radical, don't you think? It's been a long time since I've been at liberty to judge, miss. My duties forbid me from abandoning my post. Uh, yes, Prince does. That is basically playing papers, please. Yes, constantly. Don't mind me if I retire, Captain. Please, madam. My respects. Would you like some wine, sir? Alright, let me look in here again. Because I want to see what it looked like when it wasn't in How focus. How strange. I can't see a Cossack horseman at all. There's just a dead tree in the middle of an empty plain. That poor captain must have really... Ah, I see. So, that's what it's supposed to be. Now we get it. So now we just gotta fix his sight by mixing a drink for him. We're gonna put something in his drink. Oh, jeez. Look! Broken glasses! If Colonel, sir. <laughs> Would you like some wine? Captain, miss. But you have the air of a great officer. Uh, you flatter me, miss. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that we frontier soldiers are often forgotten by the military administration. Ah, uh, there's no justice. I sympathize with you, Captain. Let us forget our worries for a moment and have a little drink together in the name of friendship. Uh, it would be my pleasure, miss, but the regulations strictly forbid it. Come on. A little glass of wine never hurt anybody. And nobody need know. Wine, wow. miss? You are putting me in a...